Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with another layout that I got completed at the crop that I went to back in October. I had brought 30 page kits with me. I ended up only being able to go two days instead of the three days and I ended up completing 22 layouts and I left early on Sunday. So it was like a day and a half. So I'm pretty happy with the amount of layouts that I got done. So this kit here, I had a few pattern papers. Most of them were full pages. So I decided to cut this very busy pattern paper right in half. So I'm going to cut my, you know, basically divide my pattern paper right in half. And then I'm going to mount my photos on some red cardstock. So if you've watched the video that I uploaded yesterday, which was making page kits, you'll get the second part of that tomorrow. So probably two or three times a week until the virtual crop, I'll have, you know, two or three videos preparing the page kits for the crop. So the crop is on January 22nd to 24th. I'm making 10 page kits and we're going to make 10 layouts in 10 hours. But because I broke my hand back in November, I don't think I could do, you know, 10 hours in a row. So we're spreading it out between Friday, Saturday and Sunday, but it's going to amount to 10 hours. And a lot of people said that they um, liked it better than the whole time all at once because they could during the live chat and then while we were, you know, off, <laughs> they were able to one get their stuff done around the house two they could get the layouts done at that point and then they could feel that like they could have the best of both worlds they could chat and join in and you know have uh, quite a few laughs and then during our downtime they would get the challenges completed so if you uh, are interested the link is in the description box below. Just go to uh, NicoleJonesNow1.com under classes, uh, classes slash store, and uh, it's right there on the main page, virtual crop. But let's talk a little bit more about this layout. So once I had that first pattern paper cut down to six inches, I took the next pattern paper, which was a line pattern paper in pink, and I cut that to eight by eight. Then I'm looking at the embellishments that I had with this page kit. And I had put some of these, I think they're close to my heart flowers. So I'm gonna end up using quite a few of those. I'm gonna put um, a label and a viewfinder for the base of my embellishment cluster. And then I like to use uh, other embellishment clusters that might have a little bit more um, depth to them or not depth but more um, thickness to them like not like a die cut and then I finish making the embellishment clusters with that so the flowers for example it's a little bit more 3d and I like to add those to finish off the embellishment cluster or sometimes it can be puffy stickers or chipboard stickers. I think I forgot to mention but this is layout 20 of 22 so I only have a couple more after this and then those will be all sort of shared because it's I think it's fun to see uh, you know I make the page kits but then it's nice to see what the page looks like at the end so i like to share the process of actually putting the page together now i have to say when i go to the crop i have you know whatever how many paper kits or page kits that i have prepared but i don't have specific ideas how i'm going to complete each layout you could take it one step further and with each page kit you could slip in a, a um, sketch in there. And then when you look at the sketch, if the sketch has three or four photos, you could have that amount of photos within your page kit. But what I do have is I've made hundreds, if not thousands of pages. So I have my go-to layouts. 
So when I sit down, when I first sit down at a crop, I always seem to start the same way. I will pick some of my favorite designs, whether it's the L shape, the you know the L design, or the diagonal, or half it, or whatever design it is, or blocks. You know, I will start with that. I will start making pages with what I know, with what I've used over and over and I know works. And the fact that you're using different pattern papers, that you're using different embellishments, different photos, the photo, the page is going to end up looking very different. But instead of sitting down and looking at everything and thinking, I don't know where I want to start, at least I got a bouncing off uh, point and I just start with that. And then, you know, as I'm digging through my page kits, well, because I've done my page kits all at the same time and I had, you know, this amount of embellishments that I wanted to use in this and, you know, different three by four cards or four by six cards, every page kit, I've tried to put different embellishments in there. And by using different embellishments, as I open each page kit, I tried to uh, think of the embellishments and think, how can I use those? And usually that is what sparks an idea of, okay, this page is going to go this direction because I take that specific embellishment and I go with that. Or sometimes it's the amount of photos that I have in that specific page kit. You know, if, I, if I'm just going to do one photo like this, I'm going to do it so that it's more like a bullseye and the photos in the middle. Or if I have four or five photos, well, then I try, you know, I put the photos together, two of them together or four of them together. And then I see how much real estate that takes on my page. And then I go from there. But that is usually how I start all my layouts. I don't really have a plan. And even like during the virtual crop, I take out a page kit and we go from there. We just, I have the challenge and that helps me focus on how the layout is going to go. But I don't know the actual layout of it. But that's it. That's going to complete this layout. And again, if you're interested from January 22nd to 24th for the third virtual crop. And a huge thank you to all my new patrons, Esther Bauckham, Bronze, Tammy Cordery, Bronze, Sally Gary, Gold, Mary LaRive, Gold, Jessica Brown, Gold, Connie Lepper, Bronze, and Judy Folks, Gold. And I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye.